Welcome to the Exit Plan Show. Today's guest is Chris Balk. He's the founder of SDR Ventures in Greenwood Village, Colorado. Stick around to the end of this episode because we're going to show you how to subscribe to our newsletter and win a free copy of the number one book about exit planning. Thank you to Zarlingo Rob, CPAs and Business Advisors in Wheat Ridge, Colorado for providing a location for us to film this episode. At Zarlingo Rob, they think like business owners. For more information about Zarlingo Rob, please click the link in our website show notes. Hi, I'm Norman A. Hood, financial advisor and host of the Exit Plan Show. I interview America's top advisors like today's guest, Chris Bauck, to help business owners like you enjoy more personal freedom, grow your company faster, and retire someday on your own terms. Chris Bauck has 25 years experience in strategic and advisory services. And for more information about him, please go to the show notes on our website. Welcome to the show, Chris. Thank you. Glad to be here. Today we're going to talk about the seller's preparation steps for a mergers and acquisitions uh, transaction. So the first question in that area is, uh, can you explain the difference between intrinsic and extrinsic value? Yes, intrinsic value is what your business is worth to you. Extrinsic value is what a business is worth to someone else. Okay. Can you give an example of uh, like extrinsic value? What are some things that that uh, go into extrinsic value? Well, really, the uh, determinants of, determinants of extrinsic value is really the supply and demand equation. Uh, so, for example, right now the demand for businesses is very high. Okay. Um, and so, uh, extrinsic value is very high right now. Okay. That is also being driven by low interest rates, which makes financing for business acquisitions. Uh, more accessible. Okay. And, and on the, in the area of intrinsic value, uh, can you give us a little more information about what is pre- pre- more precisely what intrinsic value, what goes into making up the intrinsic value of a business? Well, the intrinsic value of, is what the business is worth to, to you. Mm-hmm. And that can be a number of things. It could be lifestyle. It could be cash flow. It could be status in the community. It mm-hmm. could be a whole host of different things. Okay. So it's just not it's just not numbers. It's lots Correct. of things besides numbers. Correct. Okay. So that's probably a misconception that people have sometimes is it's just the you know it's the yes. equipment and okay great thanks for clearing that up. And so the state of the M and A market right now is is pretty hot really. It is. There is a lot of demand and there are not a lot of quality companies that are coming to market right now. Okay. The demand is driven largely by a large amount of private equity that mm-hmm. is committed and yet not invested. Okay. Now, I, you know, we all know about the tsunami that's coming up with baby boomers, our age retiring, that sort of thing. So that to me, that says that uh, while the the demand's great now and the supply maybe is kind of low, do you think that's going to change in the future? We, we are studying that as we speak, and we think it could change. We don't think that it's going to change anytime soon. Mm-hmm. But if baby boomers are starting to hit the exits mm-hmm. in large numbers, that those supply demand dynamics could change dramatically. Okay, but in the meantime, it's probably not. If you know, if someone watching this video that maybe has no plans of exiting, there's they probably shouldn't jump out and sell their company today. Oh no, of the, no, no. There are many factors yeah. that go into de- determining on when and and uh, why you want to sell your company. Mm-hmm. So no, I wouldn't say any rash reaction is necessary. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because I read some articles that there where people are you know of course they're sometimes they have an ulterior motive to wanting people yeah. to sell right away. But I've read some articles where they're saying you know you better get this done now, even though uh, to me that. That kind of sounds like a scarcity and urgency pitch. Well, we think that the next two to three years is probably a good time to consider it mm-hmm. if it is in your planning horizon. Because mm-hmm. the M and A does it does peak and valley, doesn't it? Absolutely. Okay, so a big spike in interest rates would have an effect, or you know, businesses coming on the market. Okay, Correct. great. So if if an owner came to see you today and they had no prior preparation to uh, sell to a third party. How, how long do you think it would take them to get ready? And what, I mean, I know that's going to vary, so. Sure, I mean, that can take from weeks to years to get ready uh, mm-hmm. to prepare a business for sale. But if you keep the end game in mind, what your goal is for the business, and uh, prepare your business kind of every step of the way, you know, you'll, you'll be very well prepared when the time comes. Okay, great. So that's it with Chris Bauck today on preparation steps for mergers and acquisition uh, transaction. For more information about Chris, please visit our website. You'll find a link there to his website. 
You can also subscribe to our newsletter and have an opportunity to win free books.